Gambling websites insist that these cute cartoon slot machine games are not aimed at children. Fluffy kittens, pink dragons and chubby pandas, these cute creatures wouldn't look out of place in a child's storybook. They're also typical of the sort of child-friendly images that are being used by gambling websites. The betting industry is banned from directly targeting children with adverts, but there is nothing to stop websites offering games filled with these fairy tale favorites. There are dozens of them, as a simple Google search reveals, and some have no age checks in place. One slot machine game featured on several websites is based around a cartoon Pied Piper, which seems appropriate considering that the Pied Piper lured kids to their doom. It is freely available to play with no checks on betting sites including the Malta-registered Videoslots.com. Equally enchanting are the cuddly pets on the slot machine game OMG. Kittens on slotboss.co.uk. Anyone can have a go without checks in free play mode. The site is run by Leo Vegas Gaming Limited, a Swedish company based in Malta, while the game is made by WMS Gaming of Chicago. This is a global industry. Other equally accessible gambling games on the site include Top Cat and Inspector Gadget, Monopoly, or Feature Pixies. On Mechabingo.com there's Fluffy Favorites, which boasts how it is packed with pink elephants, happy hippos and dinky dragons. You can sign up with a fake address, date of birth, and email address and to tempt you to start playing your given on-site money. The only age verification is by checking a box. The site is run by Rank Group, latest annual profits pound 83.5 million. Over on Betfair there are slot machine games showing cartoon penguins, the children's card game Top Trumps and the fairy tale character The Big Bad Wolf. Part of the same company as Paddy Power, Betfair had an online revenue of pound 898 million last year. No one under the age of 18 is allowed to bet with Betfair. We have rigorous authentication procedures that kick in as soon as someone seeks to fund an account, the company stated. All the games on our site are tightly controlled, and advertised in accordance with guidance issued by the Gambling Commission and the OSA. In theory children can't lose money on these sites but our sister newspaper The Sunday People told last week how easily a 13-year-old boy blew £60,000 in a week betting online after setting up an account using his father's credit card. We contacted these companies for comment and were referred to the Industry Body Remote Gambling Association. Spokesman Brian Wright said, from an online gambling perspective there is always a risk of designing fun games for adults that might inadvertently attract children but it would never be the intention to deliberately target youngsters, he insisted. Contrast that with an adjudication published last week by the Advertising Standards Authority against M88.com, run by Progress Play Limited of Malta. The watchdog's ruling concerned three games and just look at their names. Fairy Tale Legends Red Riding Hood. Fairy Tale Legends Hansel and Gretel, and Fairies Forest. M88, sponsors of Bournemouth FC, maintained that the games were made by a third party software company and appeared on other gambling sites, as if that makes it okay. The company even insisted that they did not feature any content that was likely to be of particular appeal to children. The OSA disagreed and ruled that the games violated multiple advertising codes. Ian Angus program director at the Gambling Commission, said, It is unacceptable for gambling websites to display freely accessible adverts, which feature images that are likely to appeal particularly to under 18 s. We support any action taken by the Advertising Standards Authority against firms that fail to protect children. We recently consulted on strengthening our own rules on advertising. This would mean that gambling firms that break advertising rules could be subject to the full range of our regulatory powers, including fines. Recent figures published by the government estimate 370,000 children gamble every week. These games are not helping the problem.